in our previous video we have created an angular application now let's see the files and folders of that application we have created the angular application inside this angular folder this is the name of our application inside this we have few folders and lots of files let's open this src folder inside this we, we have few folders and files we need to understand that what is the use of these folders and files um, in angular application some of the files are specific to the application first we will see about workspace and library in angular um, if you work with dotnet java and php you knew that um, we have one solution inside that solution we could have multiple projects we were having some web application project some library project and some other different projects we can do like this in angular also the solution we called in dotnet here we call as workspace so here we can create one workspace and inside that workspace we can create multiple applications and multiple library projects first let's understand the concept now let's open a command prompt you can open like this click here then type cmd then press enter this will open the command prompt directly in this path here first we have to create workspace for that use this command ng new then we have to name the workspace let's say my workspace now i want to create workspace only i do not want to create any application inside this workspace so i want to create blank workspace for that use this option create application false it means i want to create new workspace and i do not want to create any application inside this workspace now press enter see here we are having a new folder with this name my workspace all these files uh, these files are created inside this folder workspace created successfully all these packages are installed inside this node modules folder now let's open the angular application that we have created in our previous video we will compare that application file uh, with the workspace file so keep both the folders aside see here in application uh, file we have dot angular folder that we do not have in workspace uh, in both the folder we have dot vs code and node modules folder then we have dist folder in this application that we do not have in workspace in workspace uh, we are having these seven files only we do not have any application in this workspace because we have created blank workspace some of the files uh, that are available here these are specific to the application and some of the files that are available here uh, these are applicable and specific to the workspace of the application there is no benefit of having this blank workspace we have to add some application and library project in this workspace now in this command prompt uh, first navigate to the workspace directory now we are in the workspace directory here we have to create new application for that we have to use this command cli works with ng g for generate here i am using the shortcut g then we are going to generate new application here we have to give name of the application let's say web app 1 then press enter Would you like to add angular routing type n and then press enter which style sheet format would you like to use see by default css is selected press enter we are not having these questions while generating the workspace uh, because the workspace is just a skeleton 
see here now we have projects folder let's open this inside this we have one more folder web app one inside this we have src folder and few files all the packages installed successfully we have created one angular application inside this workspace now let's create one more application in this workspace for that um, you can type same command again or you can use up and down arrow keys to get the previous commands change the application name let's say web app 2 then press enter type n enter enter see here in this projects folder we have one more folder web app 2 inside this we have one folder and some files all the packages installed successfully so in this workspace as of now we have two application in one single workspace we can add n number of applications now let's add library application inside this workspace so use this command to create or something new we have to use ng g g for generate then we are going to create library then library name let's say my library ng uh, g library my library this is the command here uh, g means uh, generate cli will understand that you want to generate something new see here inside this projects folder uh, we got one more new folder my library now this package is installed successfully now let's understand the difference between the library and application project in the left side uh, we are having application folder files in the right side we are having um, library application folders see here uh, in this application uh, we have more files in this uh, year we have less files only now let's open this src folders in both the explorer In application, um, we have lots of files, but inside the uh, library SRC, we have these uh, two files and one folder only. Now, let's understand what is the difference between a library and the application project. The main difference is we can run an application project individually, but we cannot run this library project individually. Basically, the library uh, application is used to help some other project. The main use of this uh, library project is separate our code. Um, if you want to make some common code that you want to use in some other application, then you can write the code over here. So we can use this library in multiple applications. So in Angular, either we can create single application or we can create one workspace inside that workspace we can create multiple applications and we can also create library projects we can use this library project in some other applications this is how it will works i hope uh, this video is helpful to you thanks for watching